Welcome back, everyone, to Third Street Reactions. I'm Zach. I'm Shane. We're back with Bo Jack. Season 2, Episode 5. Yes. Uh, last episode, we had Mr. Peanut Butter throw a surprise party for Diane. Even though he had an amazing day, the last thing she wanted was a surprise party. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, they had an argument, and it was awkward, but they ended up kind of making up. It was honestly, it was a realistic depiction of like a lot of fights. They argued and they made up and then they kind of talked to their differences. But Diane's about to go travel the world with some rich ass, good looking doctor guy. Yep. Who kind of aligns more with her personality. Yeah. And we had Princess Carolyn run into Vincent on the street, mm -hmm. who was like the little boy. And the show hasn't like ever showed that little kid and his friend or whatever. Or his three friends, or however many people there are. Mm -hmm. It's never showed that. No. But it's given you every reason to believe that this kid is faking it. So it's like we're seeing it kind of through Miss Carolyn's point of view. Mm -hmm. Like we don't see the magic trick, even though we know it's fake. Well, they Although up, she thinks it's real. Well, she brought up in that episode that like, I'm just seeing what I want to see. Yeah. And what I want. Yeah, so they, like, it's but this is an exaggerated but it's an exaggerated version of that. Yeah, because there's these three kids presumably pre yeah. pretending to be one man. The story how it could not be one man, an actual man. Because there's like a broom hand. I don't stuff. fucking know, but it's I, to me it's like a kind of a in your face version of people make their relationships out what they want to be what they want them to be. Yeah, especially a lot of unhealthy ones. They're yeah. unrealistic. Yeah, and they like their fantasies. They slap a fantasy on. I agree. On the relationship. Yeah. Um, anyways, that's pretty much where we're at. That's that's it. Let's jump in. Son, did you do your homework? I don't want to do my homework. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want chicken for days. Oh. 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 Chicken for days. Chicken for days. <laughs> Everybody have a fun chicken for days. I got a drum. That voice. I got, uh, I got a sounds like the guy, the teacher from Rick and Morty. Totally crazy. Just keep that yeah, I do. But I don't know if it's Over him. At it's days, they... Here at Gentle Farms, we treat our livestock differently. Lush fields, plenty of dignity, and foosball. <laughs> the chickens here have wonderful lives. You have a chicken. Before we harvest them so you can eat them. But wait, Pa, aren't we chickens? I don't want to get eaten. Boy, these animals aren't like us. They're specifically bred to be eaten and genetically modified for maximum flavor. When our chicks are first hatched, we That's a <laughs> thereby erasing any moral gray area. Now you can feel <laughs> good about eating our meat. It's simple. No one knows chicken like chicken. Chicken falls. That's just so freaky. Why do they put the skip ad button so late? I'm not gonna skip the ad now. I'm invested. Chicken for days. What's <laughs> that? It's really disturbing. This is my daughter, Irving. Your daughter's name is Irving? Gender normative names are oppressive. Well, aren't you a little princess? What are you doing here outside of the castle? Mom, your friend is being weird. Bojack is not my friend. Whoa! Diane, I need you to handle Irving. Handle her? It's take your daughter to work day. I took my daughter to work, she got empowered, and now I need you to take my daughter away from work so I can actually do some. What is it, Bojack? I'm at my dumb niece's wedding. Not you, honey. I'm talking about a different dumb niece. I feel like Kelsey doesn't like me. Well, you're not really the kind of person people like. Right away. Uh, sure. The problem is we haven't gotten any one-on-one -on -one time. There are always all these other people around filming me, feeding me, walking me to the garage at night because one time I saw a bag in the wind and I got spooked. Bojack, the only reason you want... Scruff McGruff! Chicago, Illinois. 65612. 65612. No. 60652? You were right. Yeah. Okay. So we know the chicken crossed the road. But the real mystery is. The voice. Why? First, I'm going to go to Brown. Then, I'm going to go to Yale Law. Wow. And then, I'm going to be the youngest ever Supreme Court justice. That's great. Or, you know, something in marketing. <laughs> Wow. What seems to be the problem, Officer? Fuzzy face. Meow, meow, fuzzy face. A chicken for days chicken fell off the back of a truck, and now I gotta find her and take her back to the slaughterhouse. <laughs> Who's this? Uh, this is my, uh, my, my wife. Baka! Baka, yeah, my wife, Baka. 
<laughs> All these ass pictures are weird. Look, there's two of them. Yeah, I know. Yes, I am holding a big pen, but I don't see how that's relevant, Mrs. Chavez. Sorry, Becca. She's a charming woman. I do have to look around a little bit. Mi casa es su casa. There's just an ass picture. Yep. So, if anyone asks, you were born in La Jolla, you majored in communications at USC, and now... This is a, a kind of disturbing. It is. Oh, but we can't send Becca back. They're gonna pump her full of hormones. Do you know how much trouble we could get in? There's a policeman in our front yard. Uh-oh, here comes a responsible suburban housewife. Gonna do whatever the man says. You're right. Let's get out of here. So now you're just gonna do whatever a teenage girl says? Jeezy Kableezy, grow a spine. Backbone? Yeah, or a backbone. Thank you, Becca. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> oh, oh. Honey, do you want to sit in the front or the back? Back. And why not? Maid, you can drive. <laughs> The 134 doesn't go to the beach, unless you took it to the 10. But then why wouldn't you take the 405 to the 10? Hold on, this pen isn't a pick? No, no, this doesn't add up at all. Wait, that man's wife was a chicken! <laughs> Tell me though, if one sees this delicious escaped chicken in the street, should they approach it or? Oh no, I wanna be very clear that this is not like a friend chicken you see at school or work. This is a special kind of food chicken that has lived its entire life indoors. This chicken is not socialized for the outside world. Sounds like my ex-wife. Hey -o. <laughs> oh, Tommy. Look, the safest place for this chicken right now is with us. So we can kill it, turn it into a sludge, and then press that sludge into a delicious patty. I'd like to take this moment to apologize. Everything we do is completely legal and FDA approved, so therefore it is fine. <laughs> I have nice. no follow-up questions. Los Angeles PD, are you the owner of a 2002 Volvo with a re-elect Al Gore bumper sticker? <laughs> it's more than today as it was then. Are you aware said Volvo is currently harboring a fugitive chicken? along with a teenage girl, a small, sprite-like man, and a maid of some sort. That's my daughter, not the, not the maid, the other one. I'd wager they're making a run for gentle farms. Don't worry, though. We'll bring your daughter home, dead or alive. Alive, alive! We're the LAPD, ma'am. We'll probably make the right call. Wait, wait, wait! All right, troops, listen up. I'm ready to go after these rabble-rousers. Oh, uh, no! Not until you get a warrant. Ugh, damn it, I hate due process. You're a loose <laughs> cannon, meow, meow, fuck. Face? No, I'm not. I'm a cannon, maybe, but a loose cannon? Is that what you guys think of me? I just think you play by your own rules. No way. He thinks rules are made to be broken. These are all attributes of a loose cannon. No, I'm just a reckless renegade. Sergeant Stone's a loose cannon. Oh, you shut your trap, fuzzy face. <laughs> so I'd say Stone's more of a cop on the edge with nothing to lose. That's an entirely different thing. Well, now I'm just confused. Is Meow Meow Fuzzy Face a loose cannon or not? All right. Put on a pot of coffee. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. This is just so fucking funny. And <laughs> oh man. Oh fool. I need to go. Irving ran off with a fugitive chicken in my car. We can take my car. This is perfect. Why is this perfect? My daughter could be in danger. Yes, I agree. But also we can use the car ride to get some one-on-one. -on -one. We have 20 acres of pasture where our chickens have hours of free play. See, Todd? She'll be happy here. She sure will. Because, because no, no one, one knows, knows chicken, chicken like chickens. chickens. What if chicken for days tries to get her back? Oh, don't you worry about your friend. That chicken belongs to us now. Whoa, oh. where'd you get that gun? You mean originally or just now? Just now. It was in that barrel. What about originally? Also that barrel. Look. Becca, I know this is hard. Can this piece of junk go any faster? Yeah, it's been acting screwy since I hit that deer a couple weeks back. Probably should get it checked out. No, no, no. No. Uh -oh. <sighs> Probably should have gotten it checked out. Randy, people who are just tuning in, why am I explaining this to you? This is basic journalistic, I swear to God! We'll be right back! <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. That was me acting. Pretty convincing performance, huh? Perhaps there's more to me <clears> than- Are you capable of experiencing a single moment that you don't then make about you? What was your plan to get out of here? I don't know. Some hick will come by at some point and I'll give him an autograph in exchange for a toe. Boom, his life's changed and you and I are on our way. Oh my God. I'm gonna lose custody of my daughter. The only reason I took this movie is for her. This is my one shot at a big studio movie and if I blow it, I'm back to making small, critically acclaimed movies about lesbians learning how to recycle. I know terrible mothers. 
and you're not a terrible mother. Hey, are you the horse from Horse and There he is, right on time. <laughs> That's gonna work. Keep quiet. We got it. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> probably didn't hear that. Uh, that's probably a coincidence. Someone broke onto the farm. Maybe they're rehearsing a one-act play called Someone Broke Onto the Farm and someone just said the titular line. <gasps> this way. Oh. Irving, this isn't safe for you. Get in the car and lock the doors. Uh, Becca? Todd. Oh, I found her. Diane, this one's Becca. No, Todd. Don't you get it? They're all Becca. Oh. Okay, go, chickens. You're free. Go, find your freedom. For generations, they will tell your story. Who goes there? Oh, oh, oh shit. We gotta hide. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh no. Like I say, no one knows chicken like chicken. <laughs> you always know what to do, and you don't take shit for anyone. Is that how you see me? Of course. You're like Laurel Croft in Diane's body. <laughs> Please, take me with you. I hate it here. I don't want to kill chickens. I want to design video games that help kids learn math. Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry. Okay, that was crazy. Just go. Let's get out of here. Well, well. Looks like birds of a feather go to jail. <laughs> Why was I hope you folks like community service. I do. What? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, Irving. Oh. I'm gonna have to ask you to drop all charges against my friends on account of me being a celebrity. We gracefully accept the requisite slap on the wrist and a brief but ultimately pointless trial in the court of public opinion. Good day. Well, you are famous, so you are all free to go. <laughs> but what about Becca? Took care of that too. Sometimes when you think something isn't about you, you find a way to save the day and in the end realize that it was all along all about you. <sighs> I think we really changed things for the better. Amy Sedar. Yes! Yes! I was right! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> that is a good pull, dude. <laughs> Guys, that was a reaction to this sort of discussion. I enjoyed that one. It didn't drive like the big plot for but I enjoyed it's it. It's good. The whole, the whole cop routine about cop shows. Yeah. It's kind of reminded me of True Detective where Woody yeah. Harrelson's in that interrogation scene. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, you got, you got the bully, the, the bully. Got ungovernable rage. Yeah. Well, me, I'm just a regular guy with a big dick. Yeah. yeah. Fucking... The guys didn't laugh. <laughs> yeah. And we saw Scruff McGruff. Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. Illinois 60652. Yep. It was funny, but you know, it was really disturbing. The whole chicken bit. Yeah, because these guys are like fucking basically murderers killing their own kind. Well, in the idea that you're just. you're In terms, of, in terms of human philosophy. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, a dog kills another the, dog. Does the other dog, do the other dog always consider it murder? It's like, no, that fucking dog, you don't want to mess with him. Yeah, but, this show, I mean, it gives animals an anthropomorphic agency. Yeah. But they're saying, no, these animals. They're just, they're raised differently. They're raised to be sheep for the slaughter. They're raised to be food. And therefore, this is a friend chicken. This is a food chicken. Yeah. And it's just disturbing because the show hasn't give us, given us that, really. No, it's not. It just, I thought I was going to ignore that stuff, you know, for mm -hmm. all good fun. But no, they, they so there's got to be different kinds of animal products. They obviously do the turkey. They probably do it the fish. Yeah. They probably do the other types of seafood, and we had the whale. We had he married like an octopus or something or a squid. A squid. Yeah. Well, in his case, he wouldn't be the kind of whale that would eat a squid, so it's okay. Sperm whales eat squids and shit like that. But he's uh, he had the the brill. Yeah. In his mouth, so he'd eat like krill. Yeah. And you know, small shrimp, <laughs> like little life forms that he yeah. like sift out. Yeah. The ones that eat the squids are the especially sperm whales. Yeah. Do you have a favorite like, LAPD representation of? Police, because for me it's Chris Tucker from Rush Hour. <laughs> I guess I never, I don't have like an LA staple in my head of yeah. what I just love about. I, I don't know. I've been out of those movies for so long. Yeah. I don't know. The first biggest cop moment for me is like Die Hard, but I don't know where he's originally from in this. New films. York, I thought. Is it New York? I, I think, think so. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. But no, uh, it, it, well, it's, I know that it goes back to New York in Die Hard 3. Yeah. But the first Die Hard. 
I don't remember where it takes place. Is it in New York? I thought it was when he's probably. Is. Yeah, I thought it, I don't think it's L.A. Correct me if I'm wrong. Number two comes up like yeah. somewhere. They're in an airport somewhere. Yeah. Then number three comes back and they're in the city again. I don't remember three. Three, I would imagine, probably is New York. I remember one, I remember four. One, uh, Nagasaki. Or, yeah. The Nagasaki Plaza? Can't be Nagasaki Plaza. No, no. Hiroshima and Nagasaki is where they fucking get off the bombs. Yeah. Right? Uh, I remember that one. Uh, Hiroshima is one. Pretty sure the other one was Nagasaki. Yeah, Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Yeah. Definitely, yes. Do you think the show was making some kind of like, it's being some kind of metaphor for. Like, how people think of, like, immigrants who don't speak English, just taking them out, putting them over here, and don't paying attention, you know, and, and ignoring. That could be some subtle reference to that, but most of what I got was factory farming. Yeah. And I get that with the guys that ran it being chickens, too. Yeah. There might be some reference to that, but... I think by and large, like, well, we made a difference, and it just shows they served 6 million customers instead of 5 million customers or billion or whatever yeah. it was. So they really didn't make a big difference. Like, they made a difference for themselves, but not for yeah. the, the cause. Well, it's almost like this... <laughs> and they like, go back like to this Bojack. vegan type thing, where it's like, hey, they're still getting killed. And like Bo, It goes back to, like, BoJack. Like he, everything they did probably made a difference for them, specifically, in their own little world. Yeah. But what got them out of it in the end... Was Bojack? Yeah, because of his fame, of a celebrity, and because he's a celebrity, friendships and ties. Yeah, so I don't think it all didn't matter because of Bojack, no. but it only mattered to them. Yeah, for their little victory, because that little victory, it's like a pyrrhic victory. Mm -hmm. Like there's no great advantage to it. Mm -hmm. Like you win it and you feel good about it, but in the end, millions more, billions more chickens are being. Slaughtered. Yeah. Like, uh, trillions. And when you get real there. nihilistic, it's like, well, if they're raised in a, you know, and I think factory farming is bad and it's bad for the environment, but if you get really nihilistic, it's like, well, they're all going to die anyways. And That's it's, true. It's bad to think that way because it's just bad for the human spirit because it's just, just a pointlessness to everything. But. Yeah. I mean, I, I have a nihilistic view on a lot of things, but not everything. I still yeah. have this nagging moralism. It's like, well, I mean, it's just, to me, the factory farming bit. Which reminds me of fat people. <laughs> well, like the, the fatness of the American culture. The fattest nation on earth. I know. And, and just, the, the idea that we just were such, such gluttons. Yeah. Which I'm a glutton for some things. I, I drink more alcohol than probably average people. Yeah. I don't drink as much as I used to, but I drink more than the average person. Yeah. And uh, so I'm gluttonous in some ways. But me too. I'm not reserved to that. There's plenty of people in other nations that drink all kinds of alcohol. Yeah. So it's not just a truly American thing. But the point is... Yeah. That we're a very fat nation. We are. And we consume a lot. Consumers. We are. We're yeah. a consumer nation. We're, we're ravenous. We are. <laughs> and we're, which drives the markets of other economies. Yeah. So bitch about it or con be condescending all they want. They wouldn't have their fucking fat wallets. Yeah. If it wasn't for our wallets paying into their fat wallets. <laughs> so. I'll tell you what I can eat though is burritos. I do like a burrito. That's a great I do like some fried chicken. I do love fried chicken too. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to be a hypocrite about it. I love me some fried chicken. I don't eat it every day of the week. No. I eat sardines every day of the week. Yeah. And a can of beans every day of the week. It's good fiber. I guess my lunch every day. Sometimes Fridays I splurge on some Smitties with the guys. Yeah. And yeah, you know, the FDA, it's FDA approved, therefore it's okay. You know, I think there's a little message there. Because you know what's interesting is you go to Europe, um, and it's, there's like there's all kinds of different guidelines for like a cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Like in Europe, it's a lot stricter, and they can't we, they can't use uh, a lot of the stuff that we have in the, in the states wouldn't go for in Europe. Mm -hmm. They don't put that shit in their skin, so it just kind of makes sense. And FDA, um, I think it, by and large, we as a culture are pretty ignorant of that shit. Yeah, no, this was good. I, my favorite bit was a dog bit. Yeah, there's a little bit of either factory you farming. Jeff McGruff. Um, what dog was, bit. was a cop bit? Oh, okay. And we had a koala. It was a dog, a German had, Shepherd cop. Yeah, and we had a koala. And we had a cat who had a familiar voice. It had that kind of, it wasn't the same guy. The, the, you know, the black guys are Rick and Morty as a president. Yeah, David Keith. Yeah, it kind of sounded like him. Keith I, David, it was, it was like a Keith David, David. It was a Keith David impression. It didn't move the big story forward, but that's okay. I liked it. And uh, there was a lot of those, hey, moments yeah. in this episode. So yeah. Which is fine because every once in a while it's nice to have a break. Yeah, Bojack, he's still doing his movie. And in terms of his character, like 
I, like, we hasn't really dived deep into his character for a little bit. That's well, this is just more like he needs people to like him kind of deal. Yeah, but it, what's funny is like it reinforces to the audience like it doesn't. Uh, it, it it doesn't negatively reinforce that like that's a bad thing. No, he was a celebrity and therefore they got he got out they got out of shit. Yeah, so that's it. All right, thanks everyone for tuning in. If you like what we do here and if you like watching this show, maybe you need you like watching this show with us. I don't know, but like and subscribe. Find us on Instagram. Find us on Twitter. And for all intents and purposes, if you don't, you just won't. <laughs>